Hey guys, handy Andy here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some guttering, so I'm going to show you how to set up guttering. And this is just on a basic shed, but the principle of setting up guttering is the same for a house. Obviously you would probably be using like scaffolding like that over there, or maybe just a ladder to repair some guttering. Now there are a few things you need to know about guttering before we start. So we're just going to flip the camera around. This is round edge guttering it comes in various colors white gray and black you used to be able to get it in brown but you can't get it in brown anymore um, there's also a square edge guttering which is very similar to what's on the house here looking up there so that that up there is square edge guttering you can't quite see it basically it is as it said a square and um, it comes with various different fittings now this is what they call a stop end this will simply attach to the end of the gutter this will stop any water spilling out from over the ends these are brackets simple they just clip onto the gutter and hold it in place this is what's called a union so that joins two pieces of guttering together so if you need to join a piece of guttering you would use one of them it also serves as a bracket you'll notice that the holes in the back are for the screws so you have three screws in the back I see quite a lot of the houses where they've not screwed this in and this also causes problems if you don't screw it in with later on with leaks and everything because obviously there's a bit of weight in the um, the union so obviously it might drop and therefore causes leaks because it will cause the the seals to allow water to get through and when water freezes it expands and therefore causes problem with the seals so it's important that you do screw that on if you need to this is what they call the running outlet again it can also be used as a bracket there you see the screw holes And this is what they call a straight through one so if you need to use it as a joint and need to use it for the running outlet the water then runs down the drain pipe here and you attach another piece of gutter in at that end and maybe you maybe need to attach the stop end so you have a piece of gutter in, in between like that so you can use it like that now this again is a running outlet and again you can use this as a bracket it doesn't have the screw holes there but this one some of them do have screw holes this one doesn't but this acts as a stop end so it, it does that job as well so that in itself is to go right at the end of the gutter so you you would attach it to the end of the gutter there and you'll be able to run your downpipe straight off off that then you wouldn't need uh, anything else this is called a bend or a 90 degree angle you can get the offset ones as well which means it will go at like um, I think it's 22 and a half degrees so it will give you an offset more of an angle going that way if you need to come round like in a hexagon type thing so this would simply go on the corner like that and you would be able to run your gutter in around the corner there we go make it nice and tight next thing we need to do is run the line band so we have like a line band here this is a Stanley um, line band it winds in so what you do is you'll just flip the camera around and show you what so what you've done there is wrapped it round what I need to do now is run this to the other one that we just put on and what you need to try and do is get it to the top edge like that and then just tie it off so that it it's a nice tight line to it and there you can see line band in place 
So what I need to do is attach this joint here because I need to join it because my guttering's not quite long enough. It's a couple of inches too short. So what I've decided to do, you see where this rough bit is here. I'm going to put that there. So what you do is you offer it up to where the line is and then screw it in at that point. So there we see I've screwed it in. You just about see the screws there and it's obviously up to the line either side so that's one of the, the brackets in so like I said before what you need to do is you need to screw these in because it will act like a bracket the next thing you need to do is work out how many brackets you want to use I'm going to put two more brackets in quite often what I see is people skimping on brackets and I think what you need to do is put as many as you're thinking Quite often they put them a metre apart, a metre apart is far too far for guttering, you need to put them a lot closer together. So I would recommend at least 30 inches, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two more in here. This is just a shed, and um, so that will create three, gra three gaps, so there'll be one, two, three gaps. So what you need to do is get your calculator out and... Uh, measure the distance from that bracket to that bracket divide it by three because you've got three gaps and that will give you placements for two brackets so you can see the tape measure is set up and we're around 148 centimeters or 58 inches so what we need to do is work out how many brackets are needed so okay it works out at round about 19 and a quarter inches so what you need to do is just leave a mark at 19 and a quarter so that one will be 38 and a half there and then all we need to do is get the brackets and then just offer them offer them up to the line again and screw them in we'll do that now so there we go the brackets are in place now all in line with the line band and obviously we have the joint there as well and the one at the end so we can remove this line band now and start fitting the gutter in So what, what we need to do now is take a measurement from this bracket. Now what you need to remember is you've got a bit of a overhang of gutter because what you need to do is catch the water that's coming down over the edge so you need to overhang the gutter in. I would say at least up to the wall there so it needs to come over at least two inches. So what we'll do is take the measurement from that bracket take a measurement from that bracket now inside there you can see a couple of arrows maybe there's the arrow and it will have a little line there that's where the guttering needs to finish inside there so we can take the measurement from there so it's Sixty inches and it's just nearly a half inch so we need to add about two inches to that so we need to do about 62 and we'll say three eighths because we also need to allow for the uh, stop end as well so the stop end will go on the, the end there so to attach the stop end is you just slide the gutter in like that and then once you've got it right up to the edge there you can just snap that end in there it should clip into place so you get a nice seal so again you get it under the clip there and then you just 
all these down it clips into place you do the same with that end clip and again clip and again clip Yeah, we just need to adjust it a little bit there, it's just popped up a little bit. But I'll sort that out in a minute. But that's basically the idea of what you do with guttering. Just let the camera focus again. I might just say this, this will now drip the water into the gutter. Like so. So there we go, I've adjusted it, I've just brought it on a little bit further. It was just caught on one of the bricks there. So that, that, that sorted that out and then I'd say so now it's all correct and it's up to the line inside so that's got a good seal. So now what we need to do is set the corner up so we'll do that in a minute. So what we're doing is attaching a piece of gutter in onto it and then we're just going to get a rough idea of where to put this corner. So, you need to offer the corner up with a piece of guttering attached and it should give you an idea. It doesn't matter if you cut it too long because you can always trim it down. But uh, I've got an idea now so what I'll do is I'll get this cut and offered up and start setting it up around the corner. So there we've got the corner done. So that's ready to be set up. So what we need to do now is this bit at the side. Now, ordinarily you don't really need to do this if you don't want to, but I'm just doing it so I can catch a little bit of water off there, which will help protect the side of this shed. And then it'll be running to something like this, down into the drain, down into the corner here. So as you can see, I've got the corner bit in now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the uh, rainwater pipe into there. So I've stuck that pipe in to illustrate where it's going. And uh, what I need to do is obviously continue the fall from this. So you're going to be using this. They're going to attach it round about there. Now again this acts as a bracket so all I need is a small um, piece of gutter in to go in, in this section here. So, just need a small piece of guttering to go in there, and then we should be all right. Alternatively, we could use this one, but uh, I think I want to run a piece of guttering across here as well, just to help catch some rainwater from that as well. So yeah, what we'll do is get that one screwed in. To there now it needs to have a slight slope on it away from there because obviously the water is going to run that way towards the fall pipe so what we'll do is attach it there I could maybe just run it into that I don't know hang on no we'll, we'll put it there and then attach the rainwater pipe to it so give you an idea on how to do that So I've set up the corner, put a small piece of guttering in there and this is the running outlet now so as you can see I've attached a bracket to that side and I will run a line band down here to here to get a bracket in the middle now and that should support the rest of that guttering. So there we go, that's how you put guttering on, we've done the same principle at this side with the brackets it's important that if you are putting corner pieces on to put brackets either side now this is a bracket in itself so it will help support that you see because if you don't put the brackets in quite often these come flying off so you need to do that the down pipes in as you can see runs all the way across there into there now so that should just catch the water 
and we should get the water coming off the edge here which will also protect the side of the, the shed here but there you go okay guys that is how you install guttering this is just a shed obviously but that principle will apply to anywhere on your house where you need guttering uh, so this is classed as the 4 inch guttering you can get mini guttering as well there's all kinds of different guttering that you can get so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching